The release of Flux 2 changed everything. What began as a focused showcase of Nano Banana Pro suddenly became a contest in text to image and image to image editing where five strong contenders now compete. Each claims to be the best. Let's see who actually delivers. I have to admit, this test series pushed the generate button harder than ever before, and rightly so. The kind of results we're seeing from today's AI platforms no longer fall under impressive. In many categories, we're entering a space where it doesn't get better than this feels like a fair label. Standards are shifting. Prompting has never felt more effortless. As many of you know, I'm a long-time mid-journey user, so it felt only natural to open the first arena with a direct comparison. Mid-journey, currently in version 7, against the brand new Flux 2 Pro from Black Forest Labs and Google's Nano Banana Pro, all lined up in the text-to-image discipline. The second arena, however, is all about image editing. More precisely, the ability to modify and reinterpret visuals. This time the contenders are Quen Image Edit from Alibaba, currently ranked 7th on the LM Arena leaderboard, Seedream 4 Edit from ByteDance, Flux 2 Pro Edit, and Nano Banana Pro Edit. Each round was judged based on two clear criteria, prompt adherence and image quality. You'll see the results for yourself. For each example, I defined one clear winning criterion. Let's step into Arena 1, the text to image showdown. The contenders, Mid Journey in the bottom left, Flux 2 Pro in the top left, and Nano Banana Pro in the top right. Example 1, the multilingual composition challenge puts complex group dynamics and text rendering to the test. The task is to position five historical figures precisely while placing readable text in five different languages, including Korean Hangul, on handheld signs. The winning criterion, flawless layout, and text execution. Example two, the texture and materiality challenge focuses on high-end rendering and contrast. The goal is to capture the tactile difference between dry, intricate fur and the glossy, sticky surface of donut glaze in direct daylight. The winning criterion, convincing material definition. Example three, the vintage Rover ride challenge checks whether the scene looks as if it were captured in 1969. The model must emulate aged photographic tones, sun-bleached contrast, and period-accurate shadows based on the original NASA Lunar Rover footage. The winning criterion, authentic visual accuracy. Example 4, the technical infographic. Challenge is all about schematic clarity. It requires accurate labels, proper diagram logic, cross-sections, vectors, and a clear visualization of invisible forces like vibration. The winning criterion, technical precision and diagram logic. Example five, the genre fusion challenge starts from minimal prompting and tests creative intuition. The model has to blend historical pirate imagery with cyberpunk neon in a cartoon style without detailed guidance. The winning criterion, a coherent and original fusion of styles. Example six, the obscured subject challenge demands control over depth of field and layered composition. The camera looks through foreground grass, partially hiding the subject. The model has to render a realistic blur while preserving the likeness behind it. The winning criterion, cinematic composition and depth control. That was the first showdown. And for me, it's a draw. Now, we enter the second arena, focused entirely on image to image editing. The contenders, Quen Image Edit in the bottom left, Flux 2 Pro Edit in the top left, Nano Banana Pro Edit in the top right, and Seedream 4 Edit in the bottom right. Each round begins with the original source image. Example 7, African Savannah, Animal Recognition, Visual Substitution. The Semantic Replacement Challenge tests whether the model can tell a zebra from a wildebeest. The goal is to remove all zebras and replace them with inflatable hippos, while preserving the dusty, stormy atmosphere and inserting plastic textures naturally into the scene. The winning criterion, accurate segmentation and correct application of a negative instruction. Example eight, medieval tapestry, fabric textures, imagination required. 
The Style Transfer Tapestry to Realism Challenge asks the model to reimagine a flat embroidered textile as a photorealistic historical scene. Embroidered shapes must be interpreted as real materials, like mud, chainmail, or timber. The winning criterion hyperrealistic transformation of surface detail. Example 9 Aerial image, pirate ship, director's note. The Perspective Reconstruction Challenge flips the viewpoint entirely. A high-altitude map-like scene must be transformed into a dramatic ground-level shot with new lighting and spatial depth. The winning criterion, spatial logic and cinematic reimagining. Example 10. Poster design, vaporwave illustration, strict typography. The negative constraint challenge combines bold style with absolute discipline. The model must transform the image into a rough, vaporwave-style graphic, while following the text rules to the letter. White only, exact font, no glow, no outline. The winning criterion, precise style, and typography control. Example 11. Map, coastline integrity, restyling. The thematic variation challenge tests how far the style can stretch without breaking the layout. The model must preserve geography, but reinterpret the landscape in a new theme while adding icons and stripping away existing labels. The winning criterion, thematic consistency and visual coherence. I found this particular test so intriguing that I ended up creating multiple versions of the map, all rendered with nano banana. Fancy a Japanese illustration in the style of the Edo period? Done. Want to turn your favourite country into a treasure map? Just write the prompt. Or how about seeing the land reimagined as a settlers of Catan style board? That works too. Example 12. Object list, robot assembly, cinematic moment. The object recomposition challenge turns static materials into narrative. The task is to combine isolated photo elements into a single beach scene, placing a giant robot among them and scaling the objects to create a plausible, playful, Hollywood shot. The winning criterion, integrated storytelling and complex object logic. That was a tight race, or maybe not. Now the question is, which platform is the best for you? It's almost unsettling how one platform seems to dominate the field. Sometimes it feels like you could mumble a half-finished prompt into the void, tangled physics, vague ideas, and still get a top-tier result. Perfect lighting, perfect text perfect scene setup. If you haven't seen my recent tutorial on Nano Banana Pro, it's worth a look. Links in the description. Let me keep it simple. Nano Banana isn't just better, it's miles ahead. Does it make mistakes? Sure. But so do Midjourney, Seedream, Flux and the rest. Is there room for improvement? Absolutely. But the results speak for themselves. The real trick is learning to tell Google's AI exactly what's in your head. And I mean exactly. That said, when it comes to cinematic staging, Midjourney still holds a special place. You've seen a few examples of that here. I'm still loyal to Midjourney. It consistently gives me beautiful base images, but from there, my path leads straight to Nano Banana Pro. Thanks, Google. One quick note about the platforms and where you can try them for free, at least as of the time this video was made. Head over to LM Arena, click the image icon in the prompt bar, and choose Side by Side from the menu in the top left. Then pick any two models you want to test, whether it's Nano Banana Pro, Seadream 4, Quen Image, or Flux 2. You've got plenty of options, including the edit versions. Just keep in mind that the number of free generations per day is limited. As always, the prompts were too long to include here, but if you want them, just leave a comment and I'll share them. And if you've ever thought about becoming a channel member, that would really help me out and give you a few extras in return. These videos take quite a bit of time to make, but no pressure at all. You're always welcome here. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for listening. See you soon. Your channel, AI, now you know.